It's lemons, everybody. I'm on Facebook and I'm on Instagram. I'm gonna wait for a little bit more folks to join and I'm gonna get started. Okay. Else I'll start my watch party after this is over. Hey. Hey, Miss Ashley. Okay. Let me get my Gucci in the background. Hey, Lou Webster Lacey. I don't know why I can wave to you on here. <laughs> Lemon, you know it. Hey, hey, hey. How's everybody doing doing Corona? You guys staying safe and clean and, and healthy? Hey, Drea. Losing my mind. <laughs> It's Gucci. Hi, Michael. <laughs> it's gonna be all right. Hopefully everybody downloaded their April spring calendar so they can stay busy so you won't lose your mind. <laughs> okay, I can get started now. Okay, hey everybody. I'm Kelsey Thomas from Clean World. Um, today I'm just going to bring to you some things, some natural remedies about um, lemons. I uh, wanted to bring this because it's a low cost, affordable way to clean around the house um, with the asticity and the, um, from, the from the rim, from the rind and the uh, flesh of the lemon. It helps clean. So I just wanted to share a couple. Some of you might know. Some of you might find some of these clean hacks useful. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Um, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them. Don't forget to like, comment, share, tell a friend. I am going to start a watch party after. Um, so yeah, just let me know. Yeah, like, we'll be we'll, we'll on work. Okay, I'll send you over. Um, I'll send you the link to the actual April spring calendar. We have one for March as well. Um, the one for April... I just posted yesterday, I mean, yeah, yesterday for April, and um, I have a new one in May coming, but it's not going to be so much for the home, but it'll be for something else. So, back to lemons, okay, guys? Okay, lemons. All right, first thing we have is kosher salt and lemon. This is one of my favorite things to use because a lot of my clients, even though I don't take lemons in my client's house, I, I do tell them this is what they can do. Um, you can cut the lemon in half. Y'all, I had a lemon live today and I didn't even get no lemon. So we working with lemon juice. <laughs> and this is my lemon. So you cut your lemon juice in half. I mean, your lemon in half and you dip it in kosher salt and you scrub that rim. If it's a pink rim around your toilet sink area, you scrub that with the acid and the salt and it comes right up. Let it sit there. You can juice it. I have a juicer. This is a juicer that we use here in my house. So say this was a lemon, we cut it in half, put it in top, and the juice comes right off the bottom. But, um, you know, you take that, cut it in half, scrub around the toilet, comes out. It's a great cleaner. Um, we also use it for the cutting board. Your cutting board. Most cutting boards are wood. I moved to plastic. Less germs. And with the lemon, it removes some of the acid as well. So we use this. And then it gets through all of those cutting things. Spray real good. I mean, um, with this, you don't have to dip it. You can spray the kosher. I mean, um, sprinkle the kosher salt. And then rub the lemon on the cutting board. Okay? And then the last one is... um the shower curtain, your glass shower curtain. A lot of the new modern homes, they have the shower glass and it's hard watermarks. Uh, even if it's hard watermarks on your tile, you can use the salt and lemon to get it off because the acid breaks it down, breaks down the scum, okay? So that's the first one. The second one is, uh, everybody hates the scent of vinegar. Um, they hate the scent of vinegar, so 
To make your vinegar all nice and smelly and fresh, you can make a vinegar citrus cleaner. So you can use lemons, you can use oranges, you can use lime or grapefruit, okay? So with this, you just um, cut the peels of all the all of all your fruits. Uh oh, you cut your peels of all your fruits and um, maybe to like in small little chunks. Go ahead, take out fruit, eat it, but keep the peel, cut it down, um, fill a jar about halfway full, and um, after you fill the jar halfway full, you have your boiling vinegar boiling. So maybe I, let's say we use a mason jar, my little mason jar. So you fill it halfway full with the with the peels um, in small pieces and um, the vinegar once it's boiled, boiling hot, now boiling hot. Uh, you pour it inside and you cover it back up and after you cover you let it sit for 24 hours. You get a strainer and the thing you use for spaghetti, you strain it and you strain out all of the peels. Some folks use herbs, rosemary, um, rosemary smells really good, especially cooking. So you can put that in there as well. Um, but you strain that out and then what you have left, that good old stuff, you can either pour it into a um, spray bottle here or, you know, keep it in here. You can use it, dilute it, cut it, break it as a household cleaner, whichever you want to use with it. But that's the best way to make that vinegar smell go away because vinegar is the bomb.com, especially if it's like 5% acid in there. Um, it's the bomb. So just to make that smell go away, you can put essential oils in there. But you got to watch what you're cleaning in the home because the essential oils, um, they do get into furniture, you can scratch your couch, don't, you know, stuff like that. So just be a little careful with the essential oils, but you can put um, these natural citrus scents in there to make it smell better, okay? And then you can use, well, with this cleaner, you can use, um, you can clean your microwave with it. You can um, dilute it. You can clean the refrigerator out. You can clean all kinds of stuff with it, okay? So the next one is eliminating refrigerator odor. <coughs> I don't know where I put my hair. Got okay. props for you all today. Cotton balls. So you drench the cotton ball with lemon juice and you set it in the refrigerator. And for, you can do it overnight, a few hours. A few hours usually helps, but it deodorizes that smell out of your refrigerator. I do recommend that you clean your refrigerator first. That means removing all drawers, shelves, whatever, wiping down. Because sometimes it still has that smell because food sits in it. We don't clean it as it supposed to, but we're here to help. But if you put this cotton ball in your refrigerator, it eliminates that odor. You can do it with lemon juice. You can do it with lemon juice in a regular pan pan. A little pan to put it in. Mm. Whichever way you put it in there, it, it'll it'll come. Even the half of a lemon, it's the orange, but half of the lemon, it'll go away in a few hours. Okay, so that's for eliminating the odors from the refrigerator. Um, this is one of my favorites, guys. A great alternative for bleach. A lot of my new moms, a lot of my natural moms, a lot of um, millennials, we like to use new products, um, and to to eliminate the whole bleach, the toxicity of it. Hydrogen peroxide and good old lemon juice. So these two together, they uh, brighten, they, they whiten white clothes and they remove stains, okay? So that is um, a half a cup of water, one fourth cup of lemon juice and a cup of hydrogen peroxide, did I say that right? Hydrogen peroxide, a cup of hydrogen peroxide, um, a fourth a cup of lemon juice, and a cup, uh, some and water. Hey, Janelle. Um, okay, so with that mixture, um, put it all together. Let it sit. If you want to wash laundry with it, take two cups, put it in there. Your whites will come out whiter than normal. If things are getting a little dingy, instead of using bleach, this is something that you can use. Um, and if not. Put it in a spray bottle and you can use it as a household cleaner as well. I did have a video on cleaning products 101 and whatnot to mix. This is something you can mix. Don't mix everything, but this is something that you can mix and it forms um, something that, that makes your clothes whiter. Okay. Keeping the bugs away. So if you um, live in a home and your home has bushes around it or the bushes start to touch the uh 
the, the, the dwelling of the home. Um, one thing that I do is I like to use fresh lemon juice on this, but again, I don't have no lemons today, just a, just a, just the lemon juice. So you can put lemon juice in the crevices and the holes around your windows, and that does repel uh, most insects. So if you see the ants, see them in summer, the summertime is coming, the spring is coming, the sun is coming out. Great thing to do to keep those insects away, okay? And they, they're they not coming back. This and peppermint oil. I like using essential peppermint oil um, around the window seals, you know, just to keep those bugs, especially if they are on branches, from coming up on the dwelling of the home, okay? All right. Um, the next thing is washing your fruits and vegetables. With your fruits and vegetables, you can use a tablespoon of lemon juice and water. Um... You can put it in a spray bottle. Some people just let it sit in water or vinegar. Both do the same thing. Look at this big thing of vinegar I got, y'all. I do not play about my vinegar. <laughs> Don't ask me why it's so big. But um, I use vinegar or lemon juice. Again, a tablespoon, eight ounces of water. Dip my strawberries, um, fruit, grapes, uh, washing down celery, I spray or dip it in there, let it sit for a few minutes, and then it gets washed down, and then it's ready to eat. Ready, you're ready. It's ready, you know, for you to eat. Um, it usually helps because all the things that they buy, that you buy when you're supposed to just rinse them off, like you're not really rinsing it off, but the acid that's in the vinegar or the lemon gets inside and on the uh, rounds of the fruits or vegetables, and that's what causes it to stay. To, to you know to preserve itself and stay a little bit longer um if you keep those pesticides or whatever it's called on these you know your fruit and vegetables tend to you know go go away a little smaller no shade to aldi but i definitely put my fruit inside of vinegar and water or lemon and water when i'm at aldi's um because the fruit doesn't seem to last as long as you know regular um regular fruit from you know the bigger supermarkets, okay? Steam cleaning your microwave. So again, a couple ju drops of lemon juice inside of the microwave, probably like like the measuring cup, I usually use a measuring cup. The measuring cup, um, you can either put, um, you can either put lemon juice or the actual lemon in water inside the microwave. What this does, some people just use water, which is fine, and that removes some of those harder things inside your microwave. And with the lemon, the lemon juice actually breaks down the food as well, and it also deodorizes the microwave. So you know you clean your microwave and it still smells like spaghetti. That'll help deodorize it, okay? Cleaning your mirrors and glass. This is a good one. I also use Dawn. That's another trick. If you don't have any uh, Windex or Natural Remedy for cleaning your mirrors or your glass, is using three tablespoons of lemon juice and um, a cup of water. Lemon juice and water. Three tablespoons of this. Spray it in here. I prefer a microfiber cloth to wipe it down on because if you use anything else it might start looking great. Some people use newspaper but kind of dust free over here. So use a microfiber cloth or a um it's actually a mirror rag out there. So it's like a no streak mirror rag. You can use that or sometimes I use my um what do you call it? Squeegee. Your squeegee. So either way it works Lemon juice, water, the acid removes the grease. It's perfect. Okay. Um, and the last one is a chrome and faucet shiner. Again, we're going to take my fake lemon, cut it in half. That's it. And you rub it all over that chrome. And the chrome is like new. Um, you can rub it on your faucets. Your faucets might have those hard water stains as well. It removes the water stains and it makes it shine. Um, some people use a little bit of Murphy's oil on it or stainless steel shiner. The stainless steel shiner is cool. A lot of people don't use it correctly. If they use it as a polish and just put it on there and think it's going to get clean. No, you got to clean it first. Clean it first and then you polish it and use the polish or the um, you know Murphy's oil to shine it up. Okay, and then my bonus, after you use all those lemons and you don't know what to do with them, 
The last thing, this is my bonus, this is my number 11. Put it in the garbage disposal. Some people just throw it in the garbage disposal. Um, they just throw it in the garbage disposal to remove the odor. But here's a hack. Your ice cube tray. Your ice cube tray, you want to fill every section. Maybe cut your lemon that you just used, that you just shined the faucet with. And you cut it in chunks, little small chunks. Fill up your ice tray. Um, drop drop one in each section, you know, and wait till it uh, freezes. Throw maybe two or three ice cubes in the sink. Hit your garbage disposal on. What the ice does is sharpens your blades and keeps them sharp. It's a lot of food going in there. Nothing in there is harsh. The only thing that's harsh that will melt is the ice. So the ice sharpens your um, garbage disposal and it um, it sharpens it and it keeps it clean. Because, you know, it, it can get a little crazy done and I'm not sticking my finger down there. Unless I got to get something out, like a glass that somebody left that they shouldn't have or a shot glass or something. Um, so putting those in there, chopping it up, it helps. And then once it gets down and gets through the ice and gets to the flesh of the actual lemon, it removes the, it's the deodorizes. It deodorizes all the disposal, that disposal that's in your garbage disposal. Who knew lemons could do all of that? And there's plenty more things. If you research it, go online. Um, I just thought I'd bring you 10 useful things that you can use if you have lemons. Again, I don't have them. I didn't go to the store. I'm trying to stay out the store. I'm trying to stay safe. So, do you guys have any questions on lemons or, you know, what you can make or what, what not to do? I um Actually, y'all, I forgot one. And this is a good one. For the ladies, this is for silky smooth legs. You can use it as an exfoliate. Yeah, you can use an exfoliate. So you use a, a, um, a cup and a fourth of sugar, regular plain cure, good old sugar, um, a half a cup of oil, doesn't matter the oil, the baby oil, canola oil, coconut oil, I use coconut oil, this is my favorite coconut oil to use, I use it for everything. Gotta keep your coconut oil sanitized too. Um, Coconut oil, three tablespoons of citrus juice. So again, it's the, the orange, the lemon, the lime, the grapefruit. You can use whichever. Three tablespoons of that. Um, again, I put it in the mason jar. That's Kendall screaming because she's crazy. Um, and then uh, stir it up. Sometimes you could put it in a squeeze bottle like the ketchup squeezy bottle. Put it on your legs, rub it out. It gets rid of the dead skin. It um, exfoliates, gets rid of the dirt, um, makes your legs nice and smooth. The oil is there to moisturize you all over again. So that's another way that you can use lemon. So I think I gave you guys all 10. Um, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Let me go and <coughs> check these um, comments. Over. I, again, I do have um, my April calendar. Uh, drop the link. Microfiber, you fancy. Yes, microfiber. Microfiber is. Um, hey, Shaq. Hey, Darisha. Um, microfiber does have. I would like the link as well. Okay, of course. I'll, guys, I'll send the link right up underneath here so you guys can get it on both platforms on Instagram and Clean World. I'm going to start a watch party after this. I'm doing too much. I, I already don't know how to work these platforms. But I'll send that link to you all as well. Um, microfiber. Microfiber gloss, they are very, very cheap. Probably a dollar or two. You can get them from um, the dollar store. They have three for one at Family Dollar. You guys go to that store if they open in the area. Um ice yes ice ice sharpens your blades and your garbage disposal okay is there any other questions that you guys have on lemons or anything else that you guys are interested in or you want me to talk about um you know for my next live i'm trying to give you guys as much content as possible because i know everybody's bored in the house but i want you guys to come out the end of all of this madness um, you know, clean house, nice and decluttered, ready to go, different ideas. I'm dropping something, something really, 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 really cool real soon, okay? And you guys are going to absolutely love it while you're home. Um, so, again, don't forget to like, comment, share, tell a friend. This is how we use lemons. If they, um, 
can't get to the store that has any chemical products. Uh, one store I went to, because I'm out of products as well, I had to go to my real commercial store. Um, I didn't have any. So for those that do want to use natural products that are tox toxic free, see this leaf? We natural over here. So this is one of my favorite lives, you guys. Um, send it over, like, comment, and share. I'm trying to get this on um, clean tube up and post it, but it will be on my Facebook page and on my IGTV. So if that's all that you guys have, thanks for joining. You guys stay safe. Keep washing your hands. If you don't know how to use gloves, just take them off. Um, Keep your mask on if you're sneezing or whatever. Stay six feet away. Keep y'all grandmama safe, but please throw them some toilet paper from the porch, okay? All right, I'll talk to y'all soon, and don't forget to like, comment, share. Thanks.